Welcome back. I love this part of the show as well. All of it. This is a fun show. But right now we have two Hogans in the <laughs> studio. Right. That's I'm Gabe Hogan and Carrie Hogan. <laughs> and we're talking about alcohol. It was yep. funny. Even in our break, we're just going on about stories and history. And <laughs> it's true. I it's love fun. it. It's I so know. much fun because that's the one thing I always try to remind people is that there is a culture in alcohol. You oh look at, my God, absolutely. It goes I mean, all, oh, all yeah. the way back to the Etruscans. Oh, yeah. Before, you know, way before, right. I mean, really, you know, when you toil hard. Yes. Now, they toiled a little harder than I think we toil. <laughs> I think so. But you had to have something at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. You can ferment something out of anything, I swear to God. Yep. So all over the world, they in their independently came up with all sorts of things to brew up and that, that does show their culture, that does go with their food. And I think that's absolutely right on when you said that because that's what makes a uh, history of beer and wine and whiskey there's a lot to be said there it's tied into it prohibition is. it's tied into the history of our united states it's oh, tied yeah. into the you know ancients it's it's really cool and the more you know the more enjoyable i think it is absolutely and that's the <clears> one <throat> thing that i really love about your place over in avon avon liquors Middle of the financial district. Yes. It's the only place I shop. <laughs> uh, not only because of the great locals points program, but because you have such a knowledgeable staff yourself and all the other guys, sommeliers and the like, that you can go there and ask about anything. And they're not only going to just tell you, oh, this beer is good. Yeah. They're going to be able to tell you a little bit about the brewery or the winery or the history of the region. And a great way to do this is through your tastings. Yes, and absolutely. So you have tastings Tuesdays and Thursdays. Yep, yep. And, and so tonight, yeah. we're going to do New Belgium, which is one of our most favorite companies out of Colorado. Yep. We were talking about them prior to our interview. Very responsible, solar, recapture water, CO2, mm -hmm. uh, employee-owned, very, very progressive. And besides that, they make great beer. And that's important. They really do. That's well, important. And they, they really <laughs> revolutionized the microbrewery industry in Colorado. I, I credit them a lot for what we have today and why Colorado is known for so much beer because they came in and really shook up the entire industry. Colorado is known for Coors and Session, loggers yeah. and the like, but they, they did something and were able to market it, get a good business plan, and it just exploded to the wonderful beer culture that we have right now in Colorado. It, it's amazing. And it's really hard to keep up with all their flavors. That's oh what's gosh. so fun about New Belgium. There is always something new. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't even bring in their, you know, full A series, which is, yep. you know, their 22 ounces. But this new one, I love this Day Blazer Easy Going Ale. Now this is, you know, this is an affordable, this is $2.99 for this. That's not bad now we also have a 15 pack of 12 ounce cans. So, you know, all of these are great little beers. Mm -hmm. Especially, we're going to be trying some of the um, the citronella with the lime and all Ooh. this fun stuff. And then, you know, it goes all the way up to an imperial IPA. So there's always a style for everybody, you know, standing in front of you at the table. And it's also 15% off. So um, this is a great time to come in, ask questions. You know, we'll yeah. have a new Belgian rep besides ourselves there. And so uh, it's a great time to come in and listen and, and uh, figure out what you what styles for you. And then <laughs> Thursday night, we're going to shine a light on some wine, as we always do. We have a huge wine selection. Oh, my gosh. And it gets a little overwhelming, so nice. we like to uh, narrow it down every Thursday. We're going to try four different wines. This first one is a Terrain Sauvignon Blanc, Ooh. beautiful, from France. Okay. Everybody's into the New Zealand's. Let's mm -hmm. try something different. This is a, a, a balanced Sauvignon Blanc, $13.99. Again, when you're starting to get 15% off of that, that gets really affordable. It does. The next one is a, uh, the Hospice from the Hospice in Bone. It's a Beaujolais. So this, it's not from the Hospice. It's a Beaujolais, but it is made for the Hospice, which all of the proceeds help the children in oh, in, in Burgundy. So that's a great, uh, and it's a great little bottle of wine for $12.99. Oh, yeah. The next one is Portuguese, and this is a okay. great little red blend, $11.99, and these are prices before your 15% off. So we're trying to make it affordable for, for the locals, but also this is a great every night drinking wine. You don't have yep. to spend a lot of money. Um, really great blend. And then we're going to finish off with a, a Pinot Noir from Oregon, Trisadum. Gorgeous. Oh. So again, great little lineup. There should be something in there, whether you're a beer drinker or a wine drinker. And you know, come in, shop Tuesdays and Thursdays. Walk around, shop while you sip. And you get the discount. That's right. Sadly, like every week, time goes by way oh, too fast, Carrie. We gotta take it to a break, but Avon Liquor is the place to be tonight, Thursday. 
for all your alcohol needs. Not only that, knowledgeable staff is going to help you pick out anything for your budget. A little bit more of Good Morning Vale coming up, including the last half hour. Keep it right here on TV8.